Tell me about this Sabic guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger, a proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals and people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No, that idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's, that's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbat. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, huh? Kid, I gotta drop by the post office so I could uh, check and see if your package is there. You know what's inside? A present? From Mommy? She wrote and said she was sending me a surprise present. She's coming back after I get it too. And she can play with me again. Hello, stranger. <laughs>
on. What the hell did they do to you? I had been shown the error of my ways. They had opened my eyes to the truth, to the light. Holy shit. Talk about drinking the Kool-Aid. Mother, blessed by the sun, we praise you. Mother, embraced by the wind, we trust you. Mother, radiant with grace, come to us. So, so the biter that didn't attack me, I, I dreamed that? The biter was real, but don't try it again. You're not protected by Mother's aura anymore. However, your soul and blood have been cleaned. Your resistance to the virus will last as long as you stay on the right path. Put your faith in the Mother. Continue what you've started, and your questions shall be answered. We will contact you. Lena, come on, Lena. Kyle, Kyle. Lena, thank God. Listen, listen to me. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm immune. I saw her, the the mother. She spoke to me. I was, I was in like a, like a trance, and the, the zombies they didn't attack me. Lena. Hello.
managed to go down. Influence checking for survivors. It could be someone from outside the quarantine. Here, there was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military. And he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. That's yeah, a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here. You take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look uh, for. Thanks, Jazir. We all saw it. The mother accepted you into the following. So we should accept you into our community, too. You are welcome now among the children of the sun. Thank you, Jazir. Jazir, what's this about a weapons collection? Ah, uh, yes. It's something I've wanted to take care of for a while now. There was this man, Adam, who lived in town. A bit eccentric. But everyone liked him. Especially when he got drunk. Well, he had a huge collection of weapons, famous for it. And he was a good shot with his precious revolvers. But then, when he started getting older, he got paranoid that someone was going to steal them. And the rumor is, when he died, his house turned up completely empty. No weapons anywhere. Okay, but how does this saber fit into the picture? Ah, uh, Adam was crafty. Years ago, he got hold of my grandfather's saber, and nothing I could do would persuade him to give it back. I just hope if he hid his other weapons, that saber is among them. This here got you a bolter, Liver. I... <gasps> the hell are you doing? Get away from me with that stink! There's a barrel behind the barn. Go put it there. So, you don't think Air Khan was there when it happened? No. No, I don't. All right, so what then? I didn't know him personally, but I've heard people talking throughout the years. He wasn't the bravest of men before the outbreak. Well, I did find him in a cellar. You think he was hiding the whole time? Well, I didn't say that. It's possible, though. Well, that's... It's hard to believe. What's hard to believe? That someone wouldn't want to die when he doesn't stand a chance in a fight? That someone would abandon his family, his, his loved ones, in a situation like that. I don't know, Kaya. I wish I knew what I really think about this, but I don't. But I don't know. I don't have an opinion. Just, would you? I would really like to think for a while. Alone. Oh, Erkan. It's good to see you here. So how's she doing? Still not responding, but I think she's getting better. Yeah, it looks that way. How are you doing? I'm, uh... Oh, I didn't even have a chance to thank you yet. Sorry for before. I was in shock. I didn't think. Thank you. Thank you for saving me there. 
Yeah, well, I've, I've faced a lot worse recently. I'm glad I could help. <sighs> I wish I was like you. But you can't teach an old dog new tricks, can you? I need to focus on her right now. She's the only bit of my old life I've got left. Ah, Mr. Crane, isn't it? You're really something, you know that. Never seen a man earn the trust of the children as fast as you did. They've kept an understandably low profile ever since the government banned all illegal religious sects in our country. Banned? But why? There was a massacre 50 years ago. It was chaos after that. We had to act fast, and we had no idea what should be done. It was in politics back then, but not corrupt. Not corrupt. I voted against the madness, but nobody listened. They laughed at me, blamed the children, but I knew they were wrong. My mother grew up here and never had a bad word to say about the children. After I lost everything, I came to this place and helped them start a preservation society of sorts. They kept their rituals a secret, didn't accept anyone from the outside. And for a long time I felt betrayed, Mr. Crane. I helped them survive, and they shut their doors to me. How could they? They didn't accept you into the, uh, the group? No. I'm sure you can imagine how betrayed I felt. But now, now that the government has failed to protect its people, the children have reappeared stronger than ever before. And after all those years, they didn't forget about me, Mr. Crane. I'm well fed, clothed, and safe. They provide me with everything I might need. I wish I could say all's well that ends well, I just hope we all live long enough to see the end of this madness. <laughs> 